this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. What up? This is DC Channel Guns. Coming at you another gun video. Appreciate you watching. Like, share, and subscribe. So I'm going to appreciate all my subscribers. I'm going to appreciate all the good information. I appreciate y'all for coming to the video. Appreciate all the support and love. Appreciate everyone that's getting on board with the DC Channel Guns. Appreciate the ones that have been sticking with me through the good and the bad, the ups and the downs. Nothing moves in a straight line, people. So, like I said before, y'all are the star. I'm just the messenger, people. I'm just the average citizen. No fame and no glory over here. We want none of that. We're just trying to preserve the Second Amendment for future generations. That is, that is the goal over here. And so, with that said, we're going to talk about Remington. Um, you know, Remington is one of the oldest gun manufacturers um, in this country and everything. And, you know, Remington has been plagued by a lot of things. Now, we know, and for those that don't know, we're going to um, take you back a little bit. Now, Remington... It's a farm manufacturer and stuff. Um, one of the oldest, the, the name is well known, Remington. A lot of people know about Remington. They make ammunition and farms and stuff like that. Now, Remington uh, was in a lot of debt. Um, they was in about $800 million in debt. Back in 2018, they filed for Chapter 11. They filed bankruptcy. So the company was purchased and everything and reorganized and everything to come out stronger and stuff. Now, uh, with that said, Remington was under certain loan agreements during that first bankruptcy. And then we're going to get into why they filed bankruptcy again, because a lot of the jewels and stuff I've been dropping in different videos, it all adds up, people. Over here at DC Channel Guns, I'm dropping jewels from different little things. All this stuff add up. This is facts, people. So right now, uh, Remington um, is not benefiting from all these farm sales and gun sales and stuff that we have. Now, Remington is everywhere. Remington is all your, your box retailers out there, Walmart, Cabela's, Bass Pro Shops, um, your academies. Remington is out there, your local gun shops and stuff like that. So Remington is out there. Um, you know, they have warehouses scattered all across the country and stuff like that. And so with Remington filing their first bankrupts and everything, there was under certain loan agreements and stuff that they, you know, did some of this loan agreement, you know, they were pretty much didn't have to repay back as much all their debt and stuff like that. But during the pandemic, Remington was forced to shut down like some manufacturers that we had covered had to shut down during the, the, the for the COVID-19 situation and everything. Because of that, Remington said they lost a whole lot of money. And but Remington is still played with debt, people. Up to my, as far as I look, they owed about $40 million to vendors, suppliers, and stuff out there. I think they employ like a thousand, um, they got a thousand employees or something like that, um, that works for Remington and stuff like that. And you know, also I need to note that Remington ha has bought other farm manufacturers, and they also Remington has been played with lawsuits and stuff. Um, they had issue with their farms and stuff. They had other companies that have been sued by groups, organizations, um, because of certain tragic incidents in this country and everything. So you got lawsuits out there. That is a threat to the gun manufacturers in this country right now. You have politicians, you have people, and you have billionaires and stuff that is coming after our gun manufacturers, trying to you know, you know, have them responsible for what you know you have people doing with their products and stuff. So that's something that you must take in. Uh, when it comes to gun manufacturing. So, you know, Remington had, you know, been through all of that and everything. Now, because of all the farm sales, we've been talking about gun sales, people. I'm talking about gun shops can't even keep them in. Manufacturers can't even keep up. I'm talking about we have millions and millions of new gun owners in this country and everything. And Remington is not, you know, they're not, you know, they're not making money off this situation. When all the other gun shops said they're making a whole lot of money, and, you know, they, they, they need supplies so they can keep up with demand. So Remington's not benefiting, people. Remington said they're not even benefiting from the situation. And, you know, with the debt that they still have out there, I'm talking about Remington, they're under their loan agreement. They couldn't even fulfill the loan agreement because they're saying that the pandemic caused them to shut down operations. Now, we talked about a lot of places like High Point, different companies shut down operations for a little bit. And so with that said, one thing I've been telling y'all, I've been dropping different jewels and different videos and stuff, important things that, you know, these farm manufacturers need. And so Remington put this out there. To me, it stood out. And so Remington said, while they were shut down, they didn't have the money, the revenue. And the reason why they're filing for Chapter 11 bankruptcy for the second time is because during the pandemic, Remington said that, because they were shut down, they didn't have the money, the funds. They said they didn't have the funds to purchase raw materials, people. Raw materials. And see, I've been talking about raw materials. And, you know, I've been talking about how China has been buying all the raw materials in this country and everything. 
how other countries are, you know, ramping up their raw material. And over here in this country, I'm talking about we have been decreasing our raw materials and everything. And we have certain states who have actually have raw material for the majority of this country and everything. And raw material, since all these sales and everything has went up through the roof, people, raw material prices have went up. And Remington said that they could not purchase raw material to produce the things that they need to, to pretty much make revenue to fulfill their loan agreement. So now they're filing for bankruptcy. All this boiled down to was raw material for Remington because they don't have the funds, people. And, you know, right now, I tell my, they can't get, you know, nobody would lend them money or stuff like that because of the debt that they already have. Uh, to my, so that is the major thing that we need to start thinking about in this country, the raw material situation that we're in right now. And, you know, with that said, um, at the end of the day, a lot of foreign manufacturers and stuff depend on raw material. Think about that, people. There's a lot of other things that, you know, I hear people talking about and stuff like that. But raw material is pretty much the backbone for a lot of gun manufacturers. They need raw material. I'm talking about they need all these things still. They need all these things. They need all these things to make the farms and make the ammunition and stuff like that. So to me, Remington basically at the end of the day couldn't, didn't have the money to buy raw material. So now they're filing for the second bankruptcy and everything. So I want to talk about that. Want to get to the point because a lot of people are not talking about it. Nobody's mentioning stuff like that. But at the end of the day, that was the reason why. So they couldn't fulfill the loan and everything. So now they're just filing basically another bankruptcy and stuff. So how many times can Remington file bankruptcy? I don't know. But um, some sources out there and stuff I looked at that it was going to be purchased by Navajo. So um so they you know but then um i looked and said that hey they pretty much dropped out of the bid to purchase remington so navajo was the only one i seen that someone was going to buy remington and then they dropped out so like i said we'll see where this go when it comes to remington so i just want to talk about that a little bit hope that um get you a little information on that and everything i try to break a lot of stuff down in this video and make it short so this is dc channel guns and i catch you on the next one this is DC Channel Guns, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.